Okay, I have, uh, haven't ordered anything from eBay for quite some time, and I've been looking for a particular meter, an old Radio Shack meter that has several functions on it, a benchtop digital boat ohm meter. And I made a bid, and I won the bid. So looking forward to this new addition to my test equipment. Let's see. Uh, Akrana 22175A. I believe Rick, All American 5 radio, also uses one of these. And that's what got me started on my search for one of these some years ago. And uh, like I said, it just came up available on eBay and my bid was winning. Well, I think we need to put some batteries and fire this thing up and give it a test. Batteries are now installed. A little bit of mix, but they're all good batteries. Uh, spare fuses and uh, two operating fuses. Uh, apparently the panels fused in uh, the inputs. seems to be functioning. Quite a few functions. It reads Hertz. Uh, it'll check a capacitor and diode and the continuity and actual uh, resistance readings. You can either do it in the auto setting or manual setting. It'll read uh, audio DB and Hertz, volts, amps, AC or DC, your range settings, it will check uh, the uh, efficiency setting of transistors and minimum, maximum, I assume you can set that and also probably turn off on the beep. Uh, capacitors and diodes right here into a quick little slot. Uh, your transistors, nice thing about this one will check, uh, tell you what the uh, makeup is, whether it's a uh, NPN or PNP. It'll also tell you the uh, whether it's base emitter collector. It'll it'll show you that pretty nice little function there. And uh, fairly nice little meter. I uh, pretty impressed with it. I was not aware that it could read frequencies. I've had it read as low as 150 hertz up to about 300 according to the manual. So or three megs and. Uh, so that'll be pretty interesting. We'll uh, give that a try a little bit later with the uh, signal generator. And I'm going to probably verify everything with my fed ohm uh, voltmeter. And uh, um, also this little cheapie that I picked off eBay a couple years ago for four bucks. This thing's pretty impressive. It's also got an extremely high input. Uh, like I said, for four bucks I was really impressed with it. Uh, it uh, also transistor NPN and uh, PNP and uh, same a lot of functions and I use this one quite a bit this little cheapy here but we're gonna do some testing with uh, uh, some of my old components from Radio Shack and uh, some old electrolytics and some orange drop capacitors that uh, I've pulled out of old chassis we'll give that a check here next alright I think what we're gonna do now is uh, Try to measure some more components. I've got a uh, old uh, Radio Check NPN transistor here. Let's see if we can see. Boy, this thing is old. Um, see, it's got a uh, HFE rating of around 250. I'll check it here in just a second. And uh, we've got some capacitors of 4700. And some variable resistors here, or various resistors. And uh, 
Also, I think what we'll do right quickly here is check this function, uh, frequency reading. So let me get this here set up, and uh, we'll give that a quick run through. All right, I've got uh, the signal generator set up for about, let's see, we've got it on band B and band B, that's about 500 hertz. And, uh, and we're reading about 513. Now, I know this reading's off a little bit, it should be exactly 500. And let me show you this radio from here which is extremely accurate got it set up on 500 and, and you can see the peak is dead center right there at 500 oh and this is reading 512 513 so it is slightly off but uh, still a neat little function all right, let's move on to the next test. All right, I'll press on here with the uh, transistor test. Get this set for HFE, and we'll take our little NPN transistor here. And NPN collector base emitter, and it's running about 220. And this said it would should be. I don't think this is going to focus well enough on it. 250. Well, it's close. Something that's about eight or nine years old. It's not too surprising. All right, let's move on to the next test. Uh, got a capacitor here, uh, 0 0.047 microfarad, and uh, give this a try here. What we'll do with this is put this on manual and uh, try to put this on manual. There we go, hit the right button. And there you go. It's a little high. But there again, another 10 year old component. That's surprising. Alright. Do a quick resistance check, and I think we're pretty much done with this machine here. Alright. Got the, uh, didn't even take the resistor out of the pack, just use the uh, alligator clips to connect up to. Uh, one of the resistors on this uh, 27k ohms. So I want to just plug this into the ohms and it should. There we go. 26k.89 or 26.9. Well, well, in, well within tolerance. Okay, I think that's it. I didn't show any uh, uh, voltage readings, but. Uh, that's pretty typical of these things. I have checked it and it seems to be fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, my new purchase. And uh, we'll try to get some more test equipment out and, and show them also. Thank you for watching.